we we've been you know we've been ha- looking after these community cats around here for a while now. yeah and you think they're cats there's oh they're gonna, they're gonna have to show up and we give them some food and the water and a place to sleep and they're gonna snuggle up and groom each other it's gonna be adorable they have drama tara yeah they do as as they're cats and it's like because there's one cat here big orange one that someone in the neighborhood named garfield sort of stuck and everybody hates him oh everybody hates him he's like he's, he's nine years old big orange tabby and but he hates everybody right back so that helps We have a crawl space under our house, and it's it's uh last week I'm I'm just I'm around the house minding my own business and I start to hear a noise. <laughs> like this poltergeist Tootsie Fruitsie. from the floorboards. Yeah, hey Grady. Oh, hi Grady. And I'm like, well, that's not normal. And it's the, the crawl space runs length of the house. They have like however many hundreds of square feet to to spread out. Sorry, I'm watching I'm watching Grady. Like, Dad, stop moving. Hi. <laughs> they have however much square footage under the house to indulge themselves. But oh no, it's Fight Club down there. Now I'm I do something. I did what everyone here would do. And it was completely useless. And you would do the exact same thing, though. And it's so stupid. But I did it. I stomped on the floor. And it did F all. So then yeah. I'm like, okay. And I stomped again. As if, you know, <laughs> this time I really mean it. And it's still they didn't the, hear me the first time. They didn't hear me the first time, right? I, I need I need to make myself. I got no. I'm serious. So that didn't work. I had to go and crawl under the crawl space, which is only like it's like like this big. Yeah. With a broom and a flashlight, <laughs> just attempting to put the broom between them. So they would break eye contact and F off. And it's not working at all. This awkward, mm-hmm. me, giant Nine. old man on my knees with the broom. This is not working in the slightest. I look like an idiot, but I'm out there. The tools I have are a broom and a flashlight. By God, I'm going to see this through. This is my, this is, this is what I have. I'm going to see the knife through. is going to go great. I'm going to, I've got, I'm going to see it to co- like F- Vietnam. I'm going to see this to completion. <laughs> anyway. And the problem is like, then it's Rorschach. They're yeah. not trapped down there with you. You're trapped down there with them and they have claws. All right. Let's, let's get the intro going. God, what has my life become? Each week, bringing you that our audience will be worldwide interwebs, find all sorts of horrible stuff, bring you back here for a little segment we like to call What the Fuck is Wrong with You. It's kind of a mild week. It's it's a Taco Bell mild week. We should, we should rate it. That doesn't mean it's any less stupid. That just means it's not quite there's not feces everywhere. So you're welcome. Okay. Did you see that we have our own Olympics? Yeah, the the Florida Games. The Florida Man Games. The Florida Man Games, yes. This, this. One of the events is stealing a catalytic converter and running from the cops. Actual cops participate to chase you. That whole state's going to be underwater in, in a decade, and you know, I'm not... I'm not. <laughs> Yeah, it is. I'm 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 not sure I'm going to be sad about that. All right, let's start this week. Speaking of Florida, like a few weeks ago, or like maybe it wasn't last week. The did we, dude tried. Did we do the intro? 
Yeah, we just did the intro. Okay. <laughs> what? <laughs> did we do the intro? What? <laughs> I remember <laughs> that. I was just making sure you remembered. Where are my glasses? Um. So, no, it was like, I think this was a week ago. It's hard to keep track of these, but a dude walked into, was it, I think it was Florida. It's hard to remember. There's just so much stuff. Printed a check, cashier's check on his computer. Yeah. And tried to buy a car with it. Yeah. And it worked. And they pressed his luck and tried to get a Rolex. Well. Do you remember when we were in school and they didn't quite have Xerox everywhere yet, but they had mimeographs. Do you remember those? This horrible. Yeah, you got that purple ink all over you. Horrid smelling purple ink. And every time, and you never tried to mimeograph a mimeograph because it would just, no. this is like that. This is like the dude. Is, it's you a, kids don't know. We grew up in an era where copy machines weren't common yet. Yeah. So there was a hand crank machine <laughs> with purple, wet purple ink that would get all over you. And that's how we made copies. We oh. walked uphill both ways to get them. And overhead projectors and shit. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, as much like a copy of a copy is distorted and warped. Indiana man arrested after reportedly trying to buy Porsche with $78 million check. Buddy? Louisville, Kentucky. Indiana man was arrested Wednesday after literally trying to buy a Porsche from a dealership. A $78 million check and then refused to leave when he was turned down. Rest documents show Connor James Litka, 21, of Bloomington, Indiana, walked into the St. Matthews Porsche dealership on Bowling Boulevard with a $78 million check in the hopes of buying a new Porsche. When dealership employees refused to sell him the car, Litka allegedly walked around the back entrance of the dealership looking for car keys. So you are abandoning the pretense really quick. Yeah. Do you think they just leave those lying around? Like, here's here's a check. Like the shit's like written in crayon. It's like, no, no, sir. No. Fuck it, I'll get it myself. Where do you keep the keys? He refused to leave the dealership. Until they sold him the Porsche. Scared he might do something reckless. Bro. And please called the police and Litka was arrested. So. You're very bad. Wait, at this. wait, wait. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. I know. You got to look at the last paragraph. I know. Okay. I know. So he's, okay. Already, he's, he's very bad at this. Yeah. Because the when they call your shit, when you get into a crime and you're called on your shit, when the con falls apart, run. You're done. Right. You're cooked. It's time to go. Not quit while you're behind. Not no, 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 no. I came up with this idea and by God, you're going to validate it. Through their investigation, St. Matthews Police said they found out he had attempted a similar thing the day before at a Land Roller, Rover dealership. Like allegedly tried to buy a Land Rover there with a $12 million check. So apparently he, he went through this whole rigmarole one word before, didn't work, and decided the fatal flaw here was the check wasn't big enough. I didn't go big enough. Didn't go big enough. That's where it all fell down. Tw 12 million wasn't enough. Let's go 78 million. Then they'll have to sell me the fucking Porsche. I. Son. What the fuck? 
what's what's really blowing me away here is this this kid 21 years old and i'll admit when i was 21 i was dumb as shit but i was not doing this he thought this was a good plan he thought this was uh, that is what's flooring me they don't teach like basic banking knowledge in schools anymore do they because think... that was a unit that I had in home economics was like how to balance a checkbook. And I, I know you don't have to do that manual anymore, but like. I don't even think there's a lot of folks who don't even know what a check is. It's not it's it's like the numbers on that. It means something. Yeah. It's an account number and a routing number that that shit means shit. It, it tells the bank but like it's a bummer that. It doesn't seem like we're teaching those basic life skills anymore, and we should be because you need them. Yeah, but you don't get home ec. No, I have a friend who's a home ec teacher. They call it something different now. Yeah, but I have a friend who's a junior high home ec, te- junior high home ec teacher, and she is the toughest bitch I know because she is a junior high home ec teacher. She gives junior high kids ovens and knives. I'm just I will never mess with her. Buddy, what the Yeah, I don't know. You, uh... you know he's sitting to himself going, man, I'm a genius. Why has never no one ever tried this before? This is brilliant. I I it's the perfect plan. Also, they take down all your like I I just traded in my car and got a different car, and they take down all your information. Mm-hmm. Like, you have to sign a bunch of stuff, and they take a picture of your driver's license. So even if they gave you the Porsche, you were going to be fucked anyway. Next up, this one is, fuck this lady. Fuck this lady so hard. Um, This is the kind of person who makes it harder for other people who really get injured to actually see some sort of compensation for it. This is exactly that kind of person. So uh, there are a lot of things you shouldn't do if you're trying to uh, fake an injury for a payout. Um, You should probably uh, not uh, doing, you know, climbing or running or I don't know, Christmas tree throwing contests. Yup. Yup. A woman's six hundred and fifty thousand uh, dollar, sorry, six hundred fifty thousand pound claim for injuries allegedly suffered during a car crash, has been thrown out of a court in Ireland after she was pictured winning a Christmas tree throwing competition. Camila Grabska, thirty six, sued an insurance company and said injuries to her back and neck. Meant she was unable to work. Ireland's on the euro. Why is this in pounds? Uh, Northern Ireland. Oh. Yeah. Oh, because the Brits don't don't yeah. separate those two. Right. Fuckers. Um, she uh, said injuries to her back and neck meant she was unable to work for more than five years or play with her children. She claimed she was left with the, quote, disabling condition after a car she was traveling in hit from behind in an accident in 2017. However, the woman's claim was thrown out by a high court judge. Wait, no. Hmm? Limerick, that's Republic of Ireland, because oh, that's Republic. where my mom's well, I guess parents are from. Well, the other thing is... This so it should be in Euros. Well, it's reporting by The Guardian, so... Whatever. <laughs> they know what Euros are. However, the woman's claim was thrown out by a high court judge in Limerick after a photograph came to light showing Grabska throwing a five-foot spruce at a charity event january 2018 um the picture was still was published in a national newspaper girl while grabska argued argue that she was still suffering from her injuries justice carmel stewart dismiss, dismissed her claim in part two to the graphic picture of the image look at her there with the with the uh uh with, graphic well yeah it's the the picture of her throwing the tree and then there she is here I am. I want it. Now, I mean, I'm... I wouldn't use the word graphic. I, probably not, but. She's not naked. <laughs> she, 
She denied faking her injuries and told the court she was, quote, trying to live a normal life and had still been in pain despite looking happy in the photograph. And winning the women's division. Of Christmas tree throwing. Now, Terry, you were from this. You're originally your people are from this country. My what mother's people are from this count this county. What is this? Um Christmas tree throwing. Why? Why did why? Who decided? Uh, I, I, I mean. Who decided we're going to have a contest today and we're going to see who can throw a tree? And we're going to see who can throw I a mean, tree to be the fair, farthest. To be fair, here in America, we have a game show called The Floor is Lava. <laughs> and our most popular sport involves men just bashing their heads together until their brains don't work. Well, okay. So I mean... To be fair, you have that too. It's called rugby. Yeah, but they don't, they don't, they don't fake it wearing helmets and shit. Well, they just make it. They know what they're doing and they do it. I just, I. Yeah, I don't, I I don't, I was not aware that Christmas tree throwing was a competitive sport in Ireland, to be honest with you. It's like, fuck you, lady. Fuck you. My father was the county carry plowing champion in his day. He could hand plow a field faster than anybody else in the competition. That that sounds like seriously, yeah. That sounds like something they would celebrate. That that is very definitely that. Yeah. My mom's people are from a little, a slightly more cosmopolitan, slightly more cosmopolitan area. My dad is from like rural fucking Ireland. So when they say it's a one horse town, they're not joking. I have relatives that still live in that town that do not have a street address. You just put their name in the town and the mail gets to them. Because <laughs> the town has a thousand people. Uh, well, moving right along. Um, it happened again. And this is, speaking of competitions, I think this is becoming competitive at this point. And not, not just that, they're bragging about this shit now. Pilot drew a penis in the sky and wrote, see ya, during a six-hour flight. There you go. That's, that's a dick. Are you, like, you're just wasting people's time. Air travel already sucks. It's not just a dick. Are you just taking... If you if you look out at the bottom, there there's a little dribble out of it. So there are details and here. This the sea seems to form the urethra, which you should see a doctor about that. Either that or it's or it's sort of like, you know, the veins or some shit. One or the other. Yeah. Like, was this a passenger flight? Because I'd be pissed. No, this was a tr this was a a uh uh teaching a uh, uh, student flight. Oh, okay. Well, that's a little different. Not safe for work art was I mean, created by a, when a pilot flying a Diamond DA-42 plane spotted by Flight Radar 24. According to Flight Radar 24, the plane took off 8.47 on Saturday night, landed 2.47 a.m. Not clear who's piloting the plane, but the unknown artist quickly developed a fan base online. Yeah. All you have to do online is put a dick somewhere. People are going to be really... Like, the, the, there's a hole. The, the rat hole... In 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 the, the yeah, in I Chicago. don't understand how that formed. You just make something. Did they that just looks pour like concrete over some poor rat? I don't know. Uh, based on the public information, it looks like the plane belongs to Midwest Corporate Air Incorporated, a flight school in Bellefontaine, on Ohio. The plane is, is registered to Midwest Corp Air Incorporated. I is it, the, the fuck. So, Here's okay. my question. I don't know anything about flying a plane. How do you know what you're drawing? Because on a scale that big, well, obviously there's a computer in the air. You got a computer screen you, that shows you how. Do you how, like plot it ahead? 
Do you like plot it ahead of time? Oh yeah, you can do that. And you can also track where you're flying as you're going. Oh. So you, you can so because I'm like, of, how how do you know that you're drawing a big dick? It's, how do you know when to turn? Because like I have to say, like the 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 penmanship is impressive. The, fre the frenulum is like perfectly aligned. <laughs> The balls are very symmetrical, more so than most real ones. <laughs> Six hours he was up there. Six hours. I feel like you passed. I feel like you get your pilot's license because clearly you can control the aircraft. You you couldn't pay me. Fuck, I have to pay them to be on a plane for two or three hours. I've flown to England myself. And it takes for fucking ever. And I don't want to be up there. And yet this guy is out there for six hours. This is six hours. Six hours drawing a dick in the sky. Bro, how bored are you? <laughs> I it's like what else you, you know you could you can cross stitch dicks from the comfort of your own couch. Like you you, you can go, join a bowling league. Get out, meet people. <laughs> Take up CrossFit or something. I don't know, but... Yeah. You're drawing dicks. How much fuel did he waste? Six That's hours. a good point, Miss Marona. Yeah, how much that gas? Is also yeah. You know what? There's a certain pop star who I know you don't like, so I won't say her name. But they, some some kid wrote a fucking algorithm to track her private jet usage, okay? Mm -hmm. Which is probably excessive, but also, even if she started walking everywhere, it wouldn't really save us, right? Mm. We're all going to be mad about that. But how much fuel did this guy blow to draw a giant dick over Ohio? Yeah, I like, for real? Also, I found out a weird thing this week, just listening to the radio. Some jet fuel is made out of meat. Like tallow and stuff that's not edible. Huh. And they turn it into jet fuel. So, I mean, it's still not good for the environment, but you're flying a cow. Yeah. You're, you're flying via cow. That shit's weird. Anyway, let's move on to uh, Manchester for this one. This This is, all right. We're going to have to plot. We, I feel like we need a flow chart for fucking this one. Um, even the headline is like, wait, what? Wait, what? What, 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 are you, what? what are you talking about? Teacher made lover spray five foot penis on police officers parking bay. This is a story, people. This is like. This is like. This is some days of our lives shit, although it's really stupid. A stalker teacher who fell head over heels in love with a police officer got his lover to spray paint a five foot penis on her parking bay after she jilted him. Matt's tutor, David Wilkinson, met his victim after chatting to her on Match.com. After meeting for a drink, she decided the relationship was not for her. The court heard how Wilkinson refused to accept this and subjected her to a terrifying campaign of stalking. He repeatedly pestered her, made grand gestures, such as telling her he'd bought business class tickets to Chicago and leaving flowers on her car. When his desperate efforts fell flat, the 50-year-old, 50 years old, turned nasty. Newcastle Crown, Newcastle Crown Court heard damage was done to the policewoman's car with the word pig scratched into it. You know, normally if, if someone scratched pig into a police officer's car, I would I would kind of celebrate that, but this is a little different context. Uh, Wilkinson then pressured Carol Hawkins, who was also in a relationship with him, to dob her car parking space outside her house with a five foot penis and the word I, I don't know what I'm gonna guess slag. Slag. There it is, in spray paint. He had message her asking, fancy painting a giant cock. Carol. 
What? You in, can do better, Carol. What? In, what are you doing? What in the hell happened here? Carol, you don't have to take this shit. Also, it's very weird how I grew up in the 80s and I watched a bunch of Transformers and they used the word slag all the time because they were talking about molten metal. <laughs> and there was a Transformer actually called slag because he could fire molten metal out of his mouth. And and all this time it's over in, in England. It's like a really inappropriate term for a woman. And I'm like, well, it's like the opposite here with like you call somebody a cunt here. Yeah. You're getting punched in the face. Yeah. Over the over there, it's like a term of endearment. <laughs> uh so what in the entire hell happened? I want to talk to Carol. Right? Girl. What are you doing? Police arrest. There are other generic white men in England, I promise you. Police arrested Wilkinson and he was released on bail on June 27th with conditions not to contact her. The same night, she got home from work to find her car parking space had been spray painted with an image of a penis and the word slag, both being five feet in size. It's been done by Hawkins and well, I didn't contact her. Yeah, there's it's not like a it's not like, you know, semantic shit. Fucking Min Maxin asshole. It's not like the riddle of the Sphinx. You can't rules lawyer reality, guys. No. You can lawyer lawyer reality, that counts. but you can't rules lawyer reality. Just like you are 50 years fucking old doing this shit. This is shit you should be ashamed of doing when you're 20. Sherlock, I didn't say that word as a compliment. I said it could be a term of endearment. It's yeah. kind of like here, like you can say to your friend, hey, bitch, you're not going to say to a stranger, hey, bitch. Like, that's what I mean. Yeah, I mean, I'd call, so I'd call one of my friends a motherfucker, but you don't just call a random person a motherfucker. Right, but you're not going to say that to someone at, like the bank. Yeah. Hey, motherfucker. No, that's that's like. That's what I mean. Yeah. So no, don't just go over there and start yes. calling people that. You will get punched in the face. My God. In the 50, that's what's blowing my mind. 50. I'm approaching that. Just the idea of doing this is just like, what on earth? And you're there, a there's, teacher. There, you there's really just so many men who need all the therapy. See, I would, in addition to not wanting to do this, I would never do this if I was a teacher because your students are going to find out about it. And this is going to be the rest of your career. Every day of the rest of your career, you're going to walk into a giant dick drawn on your whiteboard in your classroom. Hey, Mr. Cockman. Every day. Mr. Cockman. Every day. Who is that? Yeah. Oh, that's Dick Cockman. He's my teacher. That's just <laughs> not my name. Sorry, Mr. Cockman. Now, the next one, there are crimes and there are crimes. Sometimes some crimes, they don't go slipping through the cracks. They are baffling as shit. I don't know what happened here. I, I don't know why it happened. And no one is probably more confused in this instance than the horse. Oh, no. Man caught leading stolen horse up staircase of apartment block in Poland. Usual intervention took place in Poland where the police were called in response to a man leading a horse up the staircase of an apartment block. Suspect was arrested and have to face five years in prison for stealing the animal. Horse thief was stopped by a bystander who noticed the unusual situation. A spokesperson for the local police told notes from Poland. But the uh, bystander then notified the authorities and kept hold of the horse until their arrival, preventing the thief from taking the animal to higher floors of the building. The thief had fled the scene. The man had the horse secured with him while the perpetrator returned to the scene and, after a while, was apprehended by police. It was later established that the 19-year-old had stolen the mare, which is worth 3,500 euros from a local stud. He lives on the third floor 
So he tried to get to the third floor with this horse. To do what? Well, why did you have to ask that question, Tara? No, like there's, there is no apartment. Well, I'm not going to say that. There are plenty of apartments you could fit a horse in, but most normal people aren't living in an apartment big enough for a horse. The perpetrator, described by the resident as, quote, problematic, had allegedly been seen around the state before and already tried to steal a horse in the past. Found guilty, could face a jail sentence for five years. Why? Like, you, do you think no one was going to notice you had a horse in your house, in your apartment? What? Fuck your tenant agreement. I have a horse inside. Because <laughs> <laughs> I was just, they're going to hear. Yeah. Like the lady downstairs and, and you're like, hey, knock it off. It sounds like it's and also a horse I, up there. I've been in enough parades in my time to know that the smell of horse poo is not containable. Just the smell of horse. They they that they too. are they are they they're not like stinky animals, but you know there is a horse nearby. But there's a smell that yeah. is horse. Just of all the places to tr like. Just off the top of my head, maybe rent a storage unit or some shit. Yeah. Just hide it somewhere. Don't, can horses even walk upstairs? I don't think horses can. I horses, mean, I guess they can. Is it which one of which animal can't do backwards? I know there's an animal that can't walk backwards. I forget which one it is. I don't know. It's a quadruped, but I just don't know which one it is. I don't know if horses can do backwards. I don't they, they anyway, they, he doesn't belong in your apartment. They've got the digigrade feet, so I don't know if they can do that because they're, they're walking on their their fun fact about horses, like you need it from the show. Um, their hoofs, that's a toe. They're walking on a toe. That's they have it's like one big the hoof, the, the 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 hoof that's a that's a toenail. They're walking on one giant toe because they're what you think of as one of their knees is actually an ankle. And then the other one is actually their knee. So what you're saying is horses are the greatest ballerinas in the world. Yes, they are. Like, I'm not even kidding. So it's was like, that's, that's how, because it's got like, that's how they have like, they got two knees. No, they got an ankle and a knee. It's just the ankle is way up because that's, that's their toe. So, yeah, it's, it's, I don't know. How did you think you were going to get it up the stairs? It's a horse. And this you, had to be like a, a substance involved, right? Something. Because other, I don't know how the how did you come up with this and think this is the best? You have so many people this week who think of, this is a great plan. One of my neighbors actually had someone on meth try to enter their house last night. And uh, they have a little sign that said, take off your shoes. So the guy actually stopped and took off his shoes <laughs> and then tried to go in their front door. And they called the cops. And when the cops detained them, detained the guy, he was on meth. They found meth on his person. And they asked him, like, what were you doing? Why are you trying to break in that house? And he said, oh, well, the lights are on. So I thought they'd be my friends. <sighs> so I'm going to just get night vision goggles and live with my lights <laughs> off now. Fair. But Fair. suddenly meth heads. Yeah. All right. Our last one this week comes from uh from Georgia. And um this is from the the you're going to hell. You're you're literally going to hell. You are you are never going to have a a night's sleep that is undisturbed by by the spirits of the dead. Because Jesus Christ, you thought this was a good idea. Woman late for appointment crashes into cemetery, damaging graves. I was mentioning I was mentioning I was mentioning poltergeist earlier in the evening. A uh, woman late recently. How do those things correlate? Woman recently crashed her truck into a Georgia cemetery. Livonia police said the woman was late for an appointment when she crashed into Livonia Cemetery, damaging several graves. 
Initially, Oconee County, South Carolina de Sheriff's deputies attempted to stop the woman earlier before she continued on. The woman then ran away from the crash before being captured by officers. That's the one that always blows my mind. You've crashed your well, she car. she was late. <laughs> You've crashed your car. They have cars. But you're like, no, no. I'm going to go get, I'm going to beat them on foot. I'm very fast. It's like squirrely Dan I mean, on letter camp. The zombies are going to the slow them down. The zombies. <laughs> like, she. Oh. Once Michael Jackson and his crew start doing this thing, that's going to save you some time. I have never been so late that I have thought I can cut through this occupied area the worst and i am i'm i'm ashamed to admit i am a chronically late person yeah me too I'm i am late. not good at time management no well no i used and to i have never it has never occurred to me to just speed run through the cemetery like the worst i've done is have you ever tried to, to cut across a parking lot and you, you they have like yeah. those dividers there and you don't realize it so you're like, you're going over, like, you're like, you think it's like one straight parking lot, but no, it's not. It's that's now the worst I've maze. ever, yeah, that's the worst I've ever done. I've gone over one of those things. My truck didn't like it, but you know, this, this is, I, these are people's, you know, I'm not one, like when I'm gone, just toast me and I'm, I'm done, you know, yank out the useful shit and, you know, throw me in the oven. And then, you know, put me in a coffee can. Walter and the dude can I'm take hoping, me up the mountain. I'm hoping that I live long enough that it's that the thing where you can be, become a tree yeah. is widely available. But this, this is, this is how people wanted to honor their loved ones. Yeah. And you drove your SUV over them and through them. Oh my God. Like the lawsuits, the lawsuits that are coming to you. So many. And that'll be the nice part. Oh, yes. The haunting <laughs> that are coming to you. It's like there's a line to get back out of the afterlife. Everybody, it's like it's like that scene in Airplane where everybody's got the fucking, you know, the 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 blackjacks and the baseball bats and shit. Oh my god, the fuck were you? I don't see how your situation was going to be improved by this. No. What did you think? It was oh, it's just a graveyard. It's empty space, right? What's I mean, what are these thing? people going to do? Complain? Maybe? You going to find out? It doesn't help that apparently you but are also, a shitty driver. Even if you didn't get caught. Right. And you made it to your appointment. Right. What happens after your appointment? Because you have to get home. <laughs> and the car doesn't look like it's in great shape. No. No, it got fucked. It got straight up. So running over stone, you're also tends you're to just do that. You're just not thinking ahead, or at all, or at all. Like everything, yeah. Everybody this week seems like they had they, they're the most frustrating people who think I've got a great idea. No, you don't. No, wait. Let me try it. No, it's not a good idea. No, it is. You'll see. You're just a hater. Like that's that's not the worst one. It's like, oh, yeah. you're just a hater. No, you're just really stupid. You so, have haters. It means you're doing something right. Maybe. Not. No, it, it rarely. Maybe it means you're just. Maybe it means you're an asshole. So the first thing I we, say maybe because of like Colin Kaepernick as haters. He was doing something right. And that's why he is haters. So there are cases where it's true. But like. Maybe you're just an asshole. The first thing we learned this week is that uh, graveyard is not a bypass. 
Mm-hmm. Good tip. You should probably hold on to that one. We have learned that horses do not go up into apartments. It's not good for you. No. It's not good for the horse. It's not good for anyone. What are you fucking thinking? We've learned, ladies, gentlemen, when your significant other or whoever, ladies, gentlemen, non-binary, non-binary, whatever, if your significant other is asking you to go and harass someone else on their behalf, the person they like more, leave, go. First of all, if your significant other is in the middle of legal issues for stalking, you need to go. Um, we've learned that untold amounts of air pollution and melting glaciers are caused by dicks being drawn in the sky. You're welcome, future generations. Once again, the problem is dicks. We've, I mean, all, really, all of human history can be charted back to the problem being dicks, can it? Like Henry VIII, it's all, it all just comes down to dicks. We've learned that... Um, Maybe if you're claiming to be injured for a payout, don't go throwing Christmas trees. Or maybe just don't in general. What the fuck? That's weird. And finally, we've learned if your if your con is failing, hit the bricks, as the share zone once just said. Just bail. Just bail. Don't try to push. Don't be like, no, no. This is going to work. Don't be insistent upon your crime it's not working you can't just Mm -hmm. you can't just force your way home on that one like god and don't try again tomorrow (laughs) if it once you if at first you don't succeed stop being an idiot